until they stop that right now. I think we've had enough fighting on this wall, don't you? I'll sort it. When you go tomorrow, I'll make sure everything goes back where it belongs. You won't go to prison. No. I'm sorry. <coughs> Ambulance, please. open pulmonary tuberculosis. I had him put in isolation last night when his x-rays come through. He's a very ill young man. And there's no family? No address? Nothing? No, just the old girl that brought him in last night. She didn't really seem to know him. Just called the ambulance. He must have been living rough for ages, though, the state of him. I'll get on to social services. No, there's no rush. He won't be going anywhere fast. I'll put him on triple therapy while we do some more tests. And if it is tuberculosis, he's going to be with us for quite some time. Did you see him? Yeah, he's a proper little caution, isn't he? He's asked me to go out with him. Well, it's a good job Billy's not around, isn't it? Oh, just for a drink and a laugh. And are you going? It's right. There's no strings attached. Oh, yeah. And does he know that? He knows about Billy. Well, that doesn't necessarily answer the question, does it? I'm not worried. They can't touch us. What'll they say? Hmm. You just get charged by an inspector. Just do what he tells you. Don't look at him and don't cry. I'm not going to cry. The police like it when you cry. It makes them think that they've got through to you. They can't touch you. That's a joke. Sarah, your mother's here. I'm going to go say to her out, Jude. You coming over? Love. I, I, I'm looking for Matt. Matt? It, they said he'd been brought up here when I spoke to them in, in reception. And he's definitely on this ward, is he? I, I just want a minute with him. I'll ask Sister Mitchell. I, I only want to know how he is. Are you a relative? No, not really. Have we got anybody called Matt on the ward? Are you the lady who came in with him last night? What she said? What about? I, I brought him a bit of fruit. Oh, I'll see that he gets C it. Can I not see him? Well, if you aren't a relative, no. He's been put in isolation. He's very ill. It was a good job you brought him in when you did, and we're very grateful, but he's in good hands now. Oh. Thank you. I'm so scared about going to the police. I never dared have told you that before. Daft, isn't it? And I don't want to go home. That's why I started hanging around with you a lot. I can't stand being in my bedroom on my own. Listening to my mum and dad downstairs shouting at each other. you lot, really. Was I? <laughs> Was never really one of you. But it's better than being there. Listening to that going on every night. I better go. I'll come and see you, I promise. I promise. When I can. Rob 
found Spike. What time's your mum coming to take you to Sheffield? Dunno. Shut up. You're mobile. to go there every summer when I was little. Oh, I loved it. Oh. I've been telling her all about it. Where's Ellie? Don't know. Toilet, she was crying. That was your fault. It was not. I'll uh, go and dig her out. Daniel Miller, through here. She can't have gone far. She was here five minutes ago. I saw her. She's not on B2 and she's not in the toilets. Get on to reception and the porters and tell Mags I want her here now. Rob! Is that yours? Sit down. I'm Superintendent Chapman. You're lucky to be here today, Sarah. For two reasons. One, you could have been dead which I'm sure you've thought about. And two, you could have been up in front of a juvenile tribunal facing a very serious charge, from which, given the evidence, you would have walked away with a criminal record. Look at me when I'm speaking to you. I know a lot about you, Sarah. I've spoken to your headmaster and to two of your teachers. They told me you're not a bad person. They told me you're quite bright. But I had to question that, Sarah. Because you'd been party to stealing